おはよう。こんにちは。こんばんは。私はパンマツリです。Welcome back to Let's Learn Japanese with my Japanese coach. I am Bread Fiesta, Pan Matsuri, and we're going to continue on. So, last time it was a bit of a manic start,、um, but we did some recap of some basic lessons.、Uh, go back into learning here. So, we recapped some basic words and pronunciation. Of the various syllables.、Um, and in today's episode, we're going to be recapping again.、Uh, and we're going to learn numbers and colors. So, kind of very important basic building blocks.、Um, this is the point in the game.、Uh, we're currently ranked as a preschooler.、Uh, these are the sort of baby lessons that we have to learn. You know, gotta crawl before you walk, walk before you run. That sort of style. I also want to call out、um, so they give us some little interesting facts about Japan、uh, up on the top screen here.、Um, so, Tokyo,、uh, the 23 war special wards of Tokyo, although each is a city, constitute the area informally considered as the city of Tokyo. So, I didn't know that. Thought it was all just one. It's kind of just a metropolitan area, but I guess each one is considered. Its own、uh, city.、Uh, that's fun to know. Okay, well, let's learn some numbers, shall we? Uh, we've eased into Japanese with some familiar words. Let's cover something that everyone is familiar with. Suji. Numbers. I've never counted before. <laughs> Numbers are very useful and easy to remember. This shows. All right. Here are one through five. All right. So. Ichi. Ichi. Ni. Ni. San. San. Yon. Yon. Go. Go. So. Ichi, ni, san, yon, go. Um. This one here, four, yon,、uh, is also sometimes pronounced、uh, she.、Uh, I think we saw that actually in the,、um, in the assessment. There was like shigatsu, is the fourth month, which is April.、Um, and I've learned both、um, yon and she.、Um, I think it's just kind of like perhaps different dialects or different areas. Within Japan, use different ones.、Uh, she has kind of like a negative connotation because she is also the word for death,、um, which is a has a pretty negative connotation, generally speaking.、Um, so, just you know, learning both, understanding the culture behind the words. Ichi, ni, san, yon, go. Uh, yeah, I did notice that. We've learned that already. Thank you, Haruka. All right, six through ten. Roku. Roku. Shichi. Shichi. Hachi. Hachi. Kyu. Kyu. Ju. Ju.、Um, shichi is another one.、Uh, Shichi. Shichi.、Uh, I've learned、uh, originally nana for seven.、Um, I think you'll see kind of those roots, shichi and nana, in、uh, different contexts,、um, but both are seven.、Um, those, those are the numbers. Touch them on and off to check your memory.、Uh, I think we got it. Ich, ni, san. Yon, go, doku, shichi, hachi, kyu, ju. That's ten. It's time for a quick quiz. Okay. Roku. Roku. Hachi. Hachi. Shichi. Shichi. Kyu. Kyu. Ni. 
Mastery did not improve, but it was a moral victory, I think. And th that, the multiple choice, I think will get much more helpful once we have the ability to replace the Romaji with Japanese characters. Because um, learning, like, I guess the sound association of eight is Hachi is useful, but I think actually seeing the Japanese characters written there is a little more useful. But again, crawl before you walk, walk before you run. I would not like to play the game again. Maybe later. To use numbers to their fullest extent, you need to know counters. Counters tell numbers what kind of thing they are counting. Uh, but they're a little confusing, so we'll cover them later. We're still, we are still babies, so. Oh, but we're going to actually still talk about them a little bit. Um, so, this is Goen. Goen. Uh, ju -en. Ju -en. So N is, or Yen in English, uh, is currency. So to say five Yen is Goen. Goen. Ju -en. Ju -en. And these are actually also the kanji, uh, as opposed to the hiragana that we were seeing earlier. This is small change, though. That's uh, still kind of accurate um, exchange rate. I mean, it's a good like estimate, at least. Year three. I don't remember what year is. San nen. Nen. San nen. San nen. And then shichi nen. Shichi nen. Shichi nen. San nen. San nen. Shichi nen. Shichi nen. Even if you don't know the correct counter yet, you should still practice counting things in Japanese. Practice makes per well, practice makes better. Oh, more numbers. Okay. So yeah, for um for counting bigger numbers, um we know that ten was ju, and so for up to 19 at least, um, for a good while at least, you can just say ju ichi, ju ichi, ju ni, ju ni, ju san, ju san, ju yon, ju yon, ju go, ju go, um, ju ichi, ju ni, ju san, ju yon, ju go, ich ni san yon go, doku, shichi, hachi, kyu, Ju, ju ichi, ju ni, ju san, ju yon, ju go. Windows Defender did not find any threats since your last summary. Thanks. A uh, new game. Oh, it's hit a word though. Excuse. Skip it. I need to master all the words in the lesson in order to move on to the next one. Or we could just move on to the next one. Because we're a preschooler playing baby lesson. So there's numbers. Ich, ni, san, yon, go, doku, shichi, hachi, kyu, ju. That's counting to ten. Ju ichi, ju ni, ju san, ju yon, ju go, etc. Well, let's get some colors. How about... basic colors. Colors are everywhere, so they're easy to point out and practice with. Okay. Some colors are adjectives and some are nouns. Uh, as far as I know, because I haven't learned that far ahead, um, this is completely random. White, red, black, and blue. That's the order of those Words in that sentence are adjectives. So, shiroi, shiroi. kuroi, kuroi. Aoi. aoi, akai, 
Akai. And then Midori. Midori. Which I'm guessing is not an adjective, otherwise she would have said so. Akari ringo. Akai ringo. Red apple. Kuroi kami. Kuroi kami. Uh, kami is paper. Kami is lots of things, as far as I know. So we had red was akai, blue was aoi, uh, white was shirori, and black was kuroi, and green was midori. Here are some more. Green from the last list is also a noun. Okay, so these ones are all nouns. How that, what that means for sentence structure? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a baby. All right. So this is chairo. Chairo. This is kiro. Kiro. Uh, when I was playing Rune Factory Four, and I got the yellow fairy to join me, I named it kiro, uh, not knowing that kiro was yellow. So it just it worked out really nice, and I felt uh, smart. Um. This is just orange iro. Orange iro. Orange iro. So uh, one of them cognates again. Orange. Uh, this is hai iro. Hai iro. Hai iro. Uh, and then this is pinku. 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 Maybe there's another word for it now. Who knows? But this is the one we're going to learn. Brown or cover these up. Brown is chai ido, yellow is ki ido, uh, orange is orange ido, gray is hai ido, and pink is pinku. Pinku, pinku, pinku. In order to connect a noun to a noun, we need to put a no between the words. Remember to put the color before the noun. Okay, I will remember that. So, it would go in this order, color, no, noun. So no is like the possessive, um, which doesn't make sense for colors, but um, it makes sense for other sorts of things. So yellow hat. Kido no... But, um, that is... Baoshi... Boshi. That's an o. Oh, that's ho, with a this bow. Kiro no boshi. Kiro no boshi. It's fine. And then this is hai iro no kuruma. Hai iro no kuruma. Yeah. Hai iro no kuruma. Kiro no boshi. Hai iro no kuruma. Ah. Uh, if we wanted a green apple, midori no ringo, I guess. All right, multiple choice. All right, stretch and go. Black is kudo i. Kuro -i. Red is akai. akai. Pink is pinku. pinku. Green is midori. midori. Gray is hai iro. White is shirori. shirori. Brown is chai iro. Chai iro. Um, yellow is ki iro. ki iro. Blue is aoi. aoi. And orange iro. orange iro. Might have mispronounced some of those, I think. Kuroi, akai, pinku. Midori, hai iro, hai iro, shiroi, shiroi, cha, cha iro, ki iro, aoi, orange iro. Yeah, okay. It's kind of like every syllable. Like, trying to keep the cadence. What is your favorite color? My well, take the words out of my mouth. How about my favorite color is also pink. Remember to practice in real life. 
It's okay. It's okay to say the noun in English if you don't know it in Japanese yet. Just remember which colors are adjectives and which are nouns. Don't forget, or Haruka will find you. So, ah, uh, pink no cup. Um, kuroi keyboard. <laughs> Shiroi cell phone. Ao, Aoi hair on Figma. Good, we mastered colors. I don't want to play hit a word. It's a stupid game. You're making great progress. Now go finish mastering those words. Ganbate. It's good luck. I don't need the luck. Touch the button to go to the games menu or forward to return. Yeah. So that's all. That's all we'll do for today. Just, you know, take it slow. Again, just little steps. Um, easy to refresh. And we'll just kind of learn from there. So, we learned our numbers. Ichi, ni, san, yon, go, roku, shichi, hachi, ki, ju. That is one through ten. We learned some colors. We learned shiroi, kuroi, akai, aoi. We learned the nouns. Midori, a, cha, iro, um, ki, iro, hai, iro, uh, orange, iro, and pinku. So, we learned some colors. Um, we're crushing it. So, tomorrow, we'll get the days of the week. That's important. And we will also get, uh, we'll start learning uh, some hiragana. That's going to be exciting. We're going to Akihabara, Akihabara next episode. So, look forward to that. So, Watashi wa Pan Matsuri desu. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope your day is going exactly the way that you want it to.